All right then, so now we've used a few different UI components in this little project. The last thing I wanna quickly show you is how to change the color theme of the different components within Shard CN UI. So by default, we have this dark gray or slate color for things like buttons. This is the primary color of the default theme. And we have this light gray for the background of the badge as well. This is the secondary color in the theme. Remember, we used the secondary variant on the badge when we used it, which is why it's this lighter gray color. And there's also other default colors for things like the card component backgrounds, for borders, etc. And we can edit these theme colors really easily. So remember when we started the app and we initialized Shard CN using the CLI, it added a bunch of different CSS variables to the globals.css file. And these variables are all the different colors being applied to those different UI components like buttons and badges. You can see we've got a primary variable, a secondary one, we've got a muted one, accent, etc. So we can just change these to whatever we want. Now, Shard CN uses the HSL format for these colors, which is why we've got this number and then two percentages for each color. So the first number is the hue, then saturation, then the luminance. Let's just randomly try changing the primary hue to something completely different. So say about 100 or something for the first number, then 40% for both the second and third numbers. All right, and now we can see that green color right here for the button. So we've changed that primary theme color and now any component which uses that primary theme color is gonna be colored green. So we can change those colors directly in the CSS file by using those variables or we can use one of the pre-made themes provided by Shard CN UI as well. So if you go to themes, this is the default one selected right here and it looks very similar to this except the green buttons now obviously, but you can see it's all kind of slate or black, but we can also choose these other themes right here. So we've got red, we've got blue, green, and orange, but you can also customize them as well. So we can go to violet, for example, we can change the border radius. We can go to New York to select the New York theme. What I'm gonna do is just select violet. And then if you go to copy code, you're gonna see all of the variables for this theme, right? So just click on this to copy them all, and then we can go and paste them in our project. Okay, so back in the globals.css, grab all of this where it says layer base. So I'm gonna highlight all of this all the way down, including this dark stuff as well. And then I'm gonna get rid of this. Leave the other one down here, but get rid of the top one. All right, and now we can just paste in this new version of it. So it's exactly the same. We have the layer base and then all of the different variables formatted slightly differently, but it's still gonna have the same effect. All the same variables are there. So now if we save this, we can preview again. All right, and now we can see that new purple color for the primary variable in the buttons and any other component that uses that primary variable color will be colored this purple as well. You can see that the secondary color hasn't changed or it might have done, but not much, but you can go in directly to the CSS variables again and just override them if you wish. All right, my friends. So that is your crash course over. I just wanted to give you a quick taste of Shard CN, how to set it up and how to use a few different components. Hopefully now you feel confident enough to pick it up yourself and use it within your own projects.